Kia ora, good evening. The Minister for Mental Health has made a concrete commitment to keeping the Suicide Prevention Office open following a backlash over its proposed closure. Both sides of the House fumbled the news. Matt Ducey was caught completely off guard, while Labour had to recall a tone-deaf statement about it. Ducey's office declined our interview request today, but News Hub political editor Jenna Lynch tracked him down for an explanation. Mental health is Jazz Thornton's purpose. She's seen the dark side herself, attempting suicide in her teens. She now spends her life fighting for change and sharing messages of hope to audiences the world over. Someone else's world is better because you exist. She's also worked closely with the Suicide Prevention Office. She knows its importance. Christopher Luxon, if you and your office decide to shut down the Suicide Prevention Office, you are saying that every single person that is suicidal is worth less than your tax cuts. Yesterday, the Ministry of Health proposed an effective dismantling of the office, which came as a total shock to the Mental Health Minister. Hi, Jenna. He declined our interview request today, but... I did notice Jenna from News Hub was here. Jenna from News Hub is here, yes. We tracked him down at a rural health conference. Uh, How did you find me? <laughs> everyone there wanted answers to, is the Suicide Prevention Office going to be scrapped? I rung up Dai Safati, the Director General of Health, and made it very clear my expectation of that suicide prevention office remains open, and that's what I'm committed to doing. Let's be very clear, the suicide prevention office will remain open. The proposal obtained by News Hub shows the office currently has eight roles. The director and executive assistant roles are currently vacant and proposed to be disestablished. Two other full-time roles are set to expire, while two more are also proposed to be disestablished, leaving just two, which are to be embedded within a wider team. Uh, well, that proposal um, was news to me. It's there in black and white. These are savings that have to be made because the government needs to reach its targets. We are not going to close the Suicide Prevention Office. I've made it very clear that it's to remain open. Asked if he was comfortable with the drop in resource dedicated to suicide prevention, he reverted to his lines. My expectation is the Suicide no, I Prevention that. Office I, I heard that. I, I, know, I know you're saying it remains open. Yeah. I'm asking about the resourcing of it. So are you yeah. comfortable with two to three roles being yeah. slashed from that office? Well, it, I hadn't seen that proposal. It's chaotic at the Beehive and the sad fact for New Zealanders is they're starting to see how callous these cuts are. Labour had its own PR crisis today, sending out an attack email, government in mental health breakdown. Two minutes later, it recalled the email. Ingrid Leary didn't want to talk about it. So you're not willing to take any responsibility for getting that wrong? I don't think that's the issue here. Almost immediately after our interview, Labour sent an explanation saying it was referencing a communications breakdown, but they realised how it may be taken and hope it didn't cause offence. Jenna's with us now. Kia ora, Jenna. Great work, by the way. Uh, now, how did this happen if the Minister is so opposed to closing the office? Yeah, a little bit of nuance here. That office isn't actually a physical office. It's a team that works within the mental health team at the ministry. And so that's why the minister's been arguing the toss a little bit as to whether or not it is clothing down, closing down. I've had a good deep dive into the proposal and actually on top of the cuts proposed there are a further six job uh, job losses proposed from that wider team in which that sits. So the question about resource is really the key question here. Is the Minister comfortable with that level of disestablishment? Is he comfortable with only having those two people specifically dedica dedicated to suicide prevention? Now the government really has made its own bed here. In opposition it may a big song and dance about doing a line-by-line -line review of government spending. When they took office, they decided to kick that over to the CEOs. Now, the ministers might be upset that the CEOs aren't going for the top-level pay packets or the managerial-level disestablishments, but the government cannot complain if it is not willing to do the work itself. Jenna, tēnā koe.